To breaking news now, Sky 5 over the scene of a pursuit underway. Gil Levis overhead in Sky 5. Gil. Yeah, Michael, you're looking at this pickup truck on the 405 freeway northbound going into the Sepulveda Pass. I can tell you that uh, this started about maybe 20, maybe even 30 minutes ago. There's a, a female driver and a 7-year-old child inside the vehicle. The LAPD Pacific Division tried to pull this vehicle over, and the uh, driver refused to pull over. That's when the pursuit started. It was on uh, surface streets, made its way into Santa Monica for a time, and made uh, uh, finally made a turn up off the 10 freeway to the 405 freeway. It's been uh, driving very erratic. You know, right now at this time of the hour, 405 is jam-packed, and you can see how the uh, vehicle is using that uh, center divider uh, shoulder there, basically, to pass all the vehicles here. Um, but again, this is a, a pursuit that's been going on for almost a half hour. A female driver with a 7-year-old on board, and as I come out to a wide shot, you'll see the, uh, well, there were vehicles behind it uh, from the LAPD. I believe because of the traffic, they're having a difficult time maneuvering around that traffic. There's an airship overhead, and they're trying to get this, late, this woman to stop. So, Gil, we understand a DUI suspect, female driver behind the wheel. This originated uh, in or near the Santa Monica area? Uh, I believe it was, yeah, it's going to be in the Pacific Division of LAPD. I don't have these specifics on where exactly it started, but yeah, it uh, ended up. All right, we're having a bit of trouble with our signal there as we try and reestablish again. Uh, this is northbound 405, uh, and it's a DUI suspect moving through the Sepulveda Pass uh, when we get that signal back, and we've got it now. Uh, so we're back with you, Gil. We lost you for a moment. Uh, so you've got a female driver here wanted for DUI. Uh, and this uh, originating somewhere hey, Rick, within the jurisdiction of LAPD's Pacific Division. There is, again, uh, to be clear, a child in the vehicle, we understand, Gil. Okay. Uh, sorry, Mike, I'm uh, working out with uh, some details with my pilot here. Uh, I missed your question. Can you repeat? Just to confirm and clarify, uh, at least one child in the vehicle. Uh, well, we heard that uh, LAPD mentioned a seven-year-old. Uh, I don't have a gender on the on the passenger, but... Definitely a seven-year-old uh, child, if that's what you're asking. I, I'm sorry, I got a lot of radios in my head right now. <laughs> uh, we got the answer we're looking for. We believe it's a female driver, a seven-year-old uh, child in the vehicle. Again, this driver wanted for DUI, moving northbound on the 405 through the Sepulveda Pass and sweeping all the way across lanes uh, in what can you can imagine is a very congested, a very busy time of day. Uh, when isn't it on the 405 through that area, uh, particularly now as we move up toward the 7 o'clock hour and a wider shot. You see this driver was moving on the left shoulder for a time uh, and now inclined to use the shoulder again uh, to move uh, at, at a little higher rate of speed than, than the flow of traffic here. Uh, we imagine, Gil, uh, and you can confirm that they're tracking this from the air as well. This is a challenge for LAPD in these circumstances on the ground. Absolutely a challenge. Uh, so many cars on this northbound 405 freeway, and it looks like it's going to be that way all the way to the 101 freeway. Uh, the, the driver here using the shoulder, the right shoulder of the road now, went from the center divider shoulder to the right side of the road, and that's the problem for the units on the ground is to navigate all this traffic as uh, she's doing right now uh, from one side of the freeway to the other and uh, making it difficult for those units behind to uh, stay behind it. But right now, I can tell you that the uh, airship is overhead tracking the vehicle, and they're, they're going to keep eyes on this driver again, like you said, DUI, uh, suspected DUI driver with a uh, child on board. Well, while her movements are certainly illegal at this point, they're not erratic, and that's the silver lining that we can draw from this at this moment. Uh, DUI suspects, often erratic drivers, and as I say that, she begins to speed up. She's been moving uh, this suspect uh, at, at fairly moderate speeds here on the shoulder uh but you know you're holding in the in the mid 40s uh she's not speeding uh she's not moving erratically uh albeit on the shoulder she was on the left shoulder now on the right shoulder uh as LAPD continues to track this and you wonder at what point if uh, CHP will take over. That's at the discretion of LAPD. Uh, the Pacific Division in pursuit here of this DUI suspect. The longer it remains on the freeway, the more likely CHP would take over. Uh, but that would take uh, an enormous amount of coordination okay. at this point, considering the amount of traffic uh, and certainly the unpredictability of, of the suspect. But uh, as it stands, 
LAPD is tracking uh, from the air as well as units on the ground following the suspect again wanted for DUI uh, with a, at least one child in the car from what we understand a seven year old uh, whether that uh, child is in the passenger seat in the rear seat we don't know it looks like a super cab there so you're going to have uh, probably a bench seat in the back with uh, three options there's a good look at your suspect a female driver wanted for DUI uh, window down moving along the shoulder of the northbound 405 in busy traffic uh, as she's approaching the San Fernando Valley and the 101 freeway and the question of what she'll do next Gil. That's a big question yes and as uh, the driver continues here northbound on the 405 freeway is going to go into a different jurisdiction for LAPD. Uh, it's going to be the West Valley Division of LAPD but also I hear the uh, CHP talking about the uh, chase coming their way in the uh, West Valley area their division so We'll see if CHP picks it up, gets him behind it, and tries to pull it over. But for now, the airship is the one that's tracking. The ground units have fallen back due to traffic. As you would expect, it's been a bit of a challenge for LAPD ground units when you're dealing with traffic like this. It's clearing up just a bit, and what you don't want to see is the suspect speeding up. You're not going to outrun a helicopter. Uh, uh, whatever her motive might be here, uh, the ground units having a difficult time, as we imagine they would, uh, trying to keep pace uh, in traffic like this on the 405 North and the question of uh, whether this driver will move to the 101. Uh, it's going to be likely congested in most directions and most options here. Uh, the one thing you can say is that she's not driving too erratically and, and that's the silver lining as we've been reporting. Again, LAPD tracking this from the air. Uh, Gil, what does the traffic look like ahead? Holding at 60 now, which is a, you know, a bit looser than it was a minute ago. Yeah, now the, the uh, suspect here is on the down, uh, the, the de decline of the 405 going into the valley, so the traffic has picked up a little bit. I'm looking out the window. I'm not going to move away from the car right now with the camera, but I'm looking out the window ahead of us at the interchange, the 101 and the 405, and it looks, uh, it looks like he's going to slow down once again here uh, as this uh, driver approaches that. But uh, in the carpool lane right now, and we'll see what uh, direction this uh, person takes as they get into this interchange, if they go, like you said, west on the uh, on the 101 or uh, continues north on the 405. If it's north on the 405, it is heavy traffic. It looks like it's heavy. It could be all the way up to the 118 freeway. I'm trying to look that up that way right now, but uh, it looks like it's heavy traffic on the 405 freeway if they stay in this lane. And this driver, again, a female DUI suspect. This pursuit initiated by LAPD's Pacific Division, uh, we believe, shortly after the top of the 6 o'clock hour, maybe somewhere around 6.15 is when LAPD initiated this pursuit. Uh, and we understand, again, there is a child in the car, uh, a 7-year-old, according to uh, what we're hearing uh, from LAPD as they continue to track this from the air. Uh, and a number of options for the driver here, obviously, as she's at the northbound 405, approaching the 101, uh, moving into the San Fernando Valley. A difficult okay. time of day to We're move with now. any speed, but fortunately, not a lot of erratic driving. She's been uh, in and out of the Diamond Lane, uh, spent a good amount of time on the right shoulder, uh, moving up through the Sepulveda Pass, and now again back to the left. There was a, a left shoulder for a time uh, that the suspect was using uh, to get around the traffic. Uh, but then the question not only of the direction she takes, uh, but the direction the pursuit takes in terms of law enforcement. Try to catch up a Again, bit. LAPD is uh, behind the suspect at a great distance, as you might imagine, uh, moving on a situation like this with the traffic on the freeway, but nevertheless tracking from the air uh, and the question of whether CHP will take over as well. Uh, they are aware of this, obviously, uh, as it's moving uh, into the San Fernando Valley and the West Valley. Division of LAPD also aware of this. There's another clear look at your female DUI suspect. Still hard to say on the passenger situation, the seven year old child, uh, if that child's in the back seat of this Ford pickup or uh, in the passenger seat. 
uh, frankly, uh, not going to change much in terms of tactics for law enforcement at this point. Uh, they're just thankful that she's moving at a speed uh, and direction that's not erratic. Uh, sweeping across lanes slowly and gently and moving in the 40 to 50 mile an hour range. Uh, not much of a threat to the motoring public at this point, uh, but just increasing the list of charges uh, she will face Thanks when she's brought into custody here at the exit on Burbank Boulevard. Uh, and Gil, what do you see on surface streets? Well, let me come out to a wide shot. You'll see the uh, traffic up ahead of the uh, driver here and a lot of traffic there at that uh, intersection. But uh, right now stuck in traffic. Let me come out again a little bit to see if there's any units in trail that are coming behind. Not yet so far. So we're going into, like I said, the uh, West Valley or the Van Nuys Division, depending on which way this vehicle turns. If it goes left, it's going to be West Valley uh, LAPD jurisdiction. The CHP at this point may or may not uh, get involved uh, now that it's off the freeway system, but the driver right now stuck in traffic, a lot of heavy traffic uh, in front of the driver. The, this is Burbank Boulevard, like you said, and it looks like, uh, well, the driver will have an option here. He might be able to get back on the freeway or uh, make that left-hand turn from this, uh, the, from this lane. All right, so sitting in traffic here, uh, not trying to blow through gaps, which we often see. It's not an erratic situation at the moment. The right turn signal's on, but she's in the left lane. Uh, and it looks as though, well, she's going to stay oh, straight. Uh, and what, get back on the freeway and continue northbound yep. on the 405. Yeah, uh, those people there were making that left-hand turn, wanting to make that left-hand turn, could not because the driver decided to go back onto the freeway. So. Here we go back on to heavy traffic on the uh, 405 freeway northbound. All right, so again, a DUI suspect, the LAPD's Pacific Division initiating this pursuit uh, roughly 40 minutes ago uh, near Santa Monica, we understand, uh, and moving primarily northbound on the 405 uh, for the duration of this pursuit uh, as we've been tracking it uh, live here. Uh, for the last 10 or 15 minutes and watching this driver move northbound on the 405. It has been congested, as you would imagine that it would be at this moment uh, in the afternoon. The DUI suspect female driver with a seven year old child uh, in this truck uh, and LAPD is tracking this from the air on the ground as well. But as you can imagine, uh, the challenges they're facing remaining uh, directly behind this suspect at this point. Uh, thought for a minute uh, that they were going to get off the freeway. The truck uh, exited the Burbank Boulevard off-ramp only to go straight and continue northbound on the 405, jumping on the on-ramp and continuing. And what we can tell uh, from our reporting, tough traffic north on the 405, uh, likely all the way up toward the 118. Uh, and obviously in the Santa Clarita is going to be a challenge at this time of day as well. Uh, and you can only say uh, that the suspect's not speeding at this point, uh, which is the silver lining and really the only one we can find at this point as the LAPD continues to follow. Gil, have they had any luck? I know it's uh, cleared up just a bit uh, in getting any closer to the suspect. You know, I'm trying to listen to the uh, California High Patrol's uh, frequency for this area, and uh, I haven't heard much as far as trying to get vehicles into position, maybe because he exited or was exiting the freeway there for a minute, and then uh, she jumped back on the freeway. But uh, a little bit of breathing room right now on the freeway. The, the traffic has picked up a little bit, but up ahead in the next uh, half a mile, it's going to bog down again. As you would expect, uh, and they're going to be approaching the 118 interchange here in the not too distant future, moving at 50 miles an hour in the carpool lane, uh, spending a lot of time again on the right shoulder. Uh, but. Uh, they're calling this uh, a female suspect wanted for DUI. Uh, and from what we can tell, at least one child in this pickup truck with the suspect. And at this point, CHP aware of the situation uh, and waiting for uh, the LAPD to relinquish control of this pursuit if they decide to do so. Uh, the longer it remains on the freeway, the more likely from what we have seen in our experience okay. watching these, the CHP would take over. Gotcha. That is not the case as far as I can tell at this point. Uh, it is still LAPD tracking from the air uh, and trying to keep an eye on the situation on the ground, though, again, very difficult uh, with this traffic, Gil.
Yeah, Mike, I'm just getting word now from my pilot, an update on the situation above the pursuit. The uh, LAPD helicopter has pulled off of this chase, so now really it's just us uh, following the vehicle right now. The concern, though, for LAPD is that child on board uh, with the suspected DUI driver behind the wheel. That was the concern. But uh, because of the uh, you know, erratic driving from one side of the freeway to the other, making it difficult for those ground units to uh, stay in there, that's the uh, reason they stayed on it. All right, so we are continuing to track this situation here from Sky 5. As again, this is a female DUI suspect in this Ford pickup truck uh, pursued by LAPD out of the Pacific Division area, now northbound on the 405. It made its way through the Sepulveda Pass uh, and is now continuing northbound through the San Fernando Valley. Uh, destination unknown at this point. We'll continue to track this for you uh, on KTLA.com and have the results, the outcome of this situation tonight on the KTLA 5 News at 10, along with the rest of the day's news and any breaking news. We'll see you back here tonight for the news at 10 and 11. Good night.